Hi everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before. My name is Charmaine and I like to talk about books, open up subscription boxes and generally just have a good time. So if you're into any of that please consider subscribing and let's get into it. Today we're doing my November wrap up. So I actually did super good this month. I have this one on this. This is like my uh, tablet I guess. My I don't know what do you call these things which is like super dirty and I should have wiped off those fingerprints before I showed this to you guys. So let me wipe it off while I'm babbling to you. So I found a online, no, yeah, it's an app and it like reads the books to you, like audiobooks. Wow. That took a lot longer than it should have. <laughs> so I found this on my audiobook one. It looks like this. It's called The Lost Apothecary by Sarah Penner. That's what it looks like. The cover's really pretty. The story was so good. I thought it was fantastic. I have read a lot of reviews or like seen a lot of reviews where people like did not agree with me as much, but oh my gosh, it kept me like so engaged. I was playing video games while I was listening to it and I kept like pausing my video game so I could be like, no way. And then I'd like tell my boyfriend what was happening. It was so good. Okay, so I'm gonna give you some stuff about it and then try not to spoil it. So what it is, is it's two separate timelines. One's in 1791 and then one's like in, I don't know, 2020. Like it's, well, maybe 2019 because it didn't involve any of the, you know, stuff that's happening right now. But yeah, so it's 1791 and it's 2019, we'll say. There is, in 1791, there's two characters. One of them is an apothecary person and she's older. And then there's a 12 year old girl named Evie. And they find each other like the apothecary is kind of she's like she doesn't really help people with curing stuff she helps people by like murdering their husbands if that makes sense <laughs> like it's kind of a time when like women didn't have a lot of power and that was like kind of the thing was you you would be stuck in like this bad relationship you couldn't get out of it because like what would you do they didn't have any power back then and so she was like helping them by like getting rid of like any undesirable men. Ooh, look at me using a fancy word in their life. <laughs> it was so good, you guys. Uh, the girl in the new year, or like our time, is she's like having problems with her husband, so she goes on like this trip, and she, it was supposed to be like a trip that we went, they went on together, but it like turns out that he like cheated on her. It's like in the first chapter, so I don't think I'm giving too much away if I say that. And so she goes to England and she's doing, it's called mudlarking, I think. And it's like where you go to like the riverbank and you just like, if you see something sitting on the edge of the river, you pick it up and you look at it. And she finds a little glass jar and it's from this apothecary. And it turns out that when she was in like university, she was studying history and that, so like this like makes her like re get into her passion of studying history. And she's in like a job that she doesn't like now. And she's with like her husband and she's not like, they're not doing so great. So this gets her like back into her, like where her passion was. It is so good, you guys. Like honestly, the end made me cry. It like, oh, it was so good. They just pulled it all together really well. And like there was some secret twists. And like a couple of times, like my heart was racing a little bit. Like I felt like, oh my gosh, what's gonna happen? So it's a little bit like, it's a contemporary kind of mystery with like a tiny little bit of like comedy. And I don't know, it was just super good. I do recommend it. I'm totally giving it a four stars. So again, that was this. It's The Lost Apothecary by Sarah Penner. I'm trying to turn it so you guys don't get like blinded by the ring light. And I did listen to it on the audiobook. Oh, the audiobook app is called Scribed, I think. And it's like $10 a month. I'm pretty excited about it because I have the book reading hobby, the YouTube hobby, the playing video games hobby, and a full-time job. So it's nice to have like something where I can do two things at the same time and I can listen to my books while I do like my lunch break and I can play video games and listen to my books. So yeah, that was really cool. The other two that I read were Anna Kendrick's Scrappy Little Nobody and I Know What I'm Doing and Other Lies I Tell Myself by Jen Kirkman. So these two do fit into my no nonfiction November reads. And okay, if I'll start with this one. If you've seen Jen Kirkman's stand up on Netflix, she's very, very funny. This it has a lot of her stand up in it, and she like expands more. So, like, she has like a couple of lines from her stand up, but she gives you like the more of the backstory. 
and it was super super good and um because I also listened to these on that scribed thing both of these girls like read this themselves so or women I guess they read these themselves so like it was her voice telling me this story and it was her voice telling me this story which I think made me more involved in it and at the end of this book I cried um not like she did it on purpose but she was talking about like Joan Rivers and how Joan Rivers was like such a influence in her life and like one of her like heroes for doing stand-up comedy and like how hard it is to do stand-up comedy and when she passed away she was talking about that oh that's like a huge spoiler I mean like unless you don't know that Joan Rivers passed away and then I just told you the end of the book wow <laughs> I mean okay so that's the end of the book you guys <laughs> but she, she made me cry about it anyway it's a very good book I highly recommend it she does have a couple of life lessons in there which I thought were really good and yeah, it's kind of about like learning how to be your own person after like stuff and trying to find yourself again and be yourself is kind of what she's doing. And this one here by Anna Kendrick is super funny. It's also, I think, more funny because I listened to it in her voice. Like some of this stuff maybe would have come off like a little bit whiny if I was reading it, but because she was telling the story and it was like super funny, I was like laughing, like legitimately out loud laughing with her when she was telling some of the stories about her life. So she talks about like when she was a little kid and when she first started acting and like her parents and how she moved to LA and... She started acting there and she like went without a, like a car and she was like well I didn't think that anybody in LA would drive but like everybody in LA drives apparently and like yeah so it's kind of that stuff and then she talks about how like people have a perception about celebrities like you know they're in movies and you automatically think because they're in a movie they have like all of this money and they don't they're like super broke they're doing job to job kind of thing and they have to pay for like outfits and clothes and screenshots and like you have to send in tapes and you have to like hustle your butt to try and get these jobs so that you can make money because it's a hard like field to get into kind of thing so I did enjoy that that was kind of neat because it was like a little bit of the backstory stuff plus <laughs> there is this one part which I am totally gonna spoil for you guys but it was like so funny so she's talking about how like she doesn't really she's not gonna involve anybody's names in the book because she doesn't want to like bring them up or whatever but she's talking about how she got to make out with this one actor and like she says normally for like kissing scenes like you don't really it's not a good time like you're just doing your job and you're both just trying to get through it and it's not really like a comfortable time but like you know you're being professional and you get through it so afterwards she goes home after she's kissed this actor she goes home and then she's like oh my gosh I just made out with Legolas and she said that like made me laugh <laughs> like so hard because I thought that was cute and she was like trying like I'm not gonna say anybody's names and then she says like his most favorite character or most famous character that I think everybody knows him from so that made me laugh and I thought that was cute yeah okay so I got through three books I do I'm I'm only still halfway through the girl of nightmares that I had from my October book wrap up that I was supposed to continue to read but it scared me a little bit so I had to put it down because I'm a little bit of a baby with scary books and that's just how that works so I'm gonna need a little break from that one but I got these guys in there and that was pretty good okay cool thank you so much for watching my video that is it from me today I really really appreciate you guys thank you so much for spending a couple of minutes of your day with me I'll see you guys in my next video and I hope you have a fantastic day bye